Hello, my name is Jason Galindo, 30. I'll be 31 next month. Um, I was born in San Diego, raised in Chula Vista most of my life. I graduated high school in 2002, did a year of high school. I mean, did a year of uh, community college and with no, no direction at all, no passion for really anything. And I dropped out after a year, went to work in the real world for about eight, nine years and lost my job in 2008. Went downhill just with the economy, I had a sales job. So after a little bit of soul searching, I decided to come back to school in 2011, and I went to Southwestern College for a couple years, transferred here to uh, San Diego State, and now I'm a senior, and I'll be graduating next year, May 2015, with a bachelor's degree in, uh, in accounting. I started tutoring in January. I figured that tutoring would help me, tutoring in, account in accounting, my own major, would help me have a better understanding of the subject. But uh, there was a side effect, I guess you would call it, and that I noticed that I ended up liking help tutoring. I liked helping students. I noticed that a lot of the students were going through the same uh, hardships that I went through, as far as you know the difficulty in the subject. And uh, I remember how hard it was for me to get through a lot of these courses, and I could see that in them. I could see myself in them. So it feels good to help them through. I'm here to tutor uh, Brandon, he's a classmate in accounting, and uh, we're here to talk about a concept in uh, the accounting major, uh, specifically uh, doing a production report for Accounting 432, and uh, so we're going to go over a few concepts in that area, and I have worked with Brandon before, He's a, like I said, he's in my class and we're teammates, and I've helped him on other concepts as well. You know, I think the, uh, the session was pretty successful. Um, Brandon picked up the concept pretty well, the way I explained it to him. And what I did simply was uh, used examples, real life examples, to explain the concept that he was having trouble with. So he can relate that to, you know, to the uh, to the process that we used to figure out this. Uh, we're doing like a a, produ a production report. Mm -hmm. So in order to visualize, I just used real life examples of making something else, and he was able to apply that. Overall, I felt the session went pretty well. Um, I was confused on a couple of parts, and the way that the teacher explained it was kind of confusing in, in the classroom setting, but after coming back and refreshing in the way that Jason explained it, and it gave me a different perspective, and that was really helpful with just understanding the concepts. And getting um, in, in, a big, in a very big way, um, especially my nephews, um, they, they, uh, they see that I'm you know, working hard every day. They see me, you know, when they come over, they see me just grinding away at the books. You know, I'm in my room all day. <laughs> And uh, I think that inspires them. Like, okay, if you know if he can do it, why you know why can't I? And they're doing a, they're doing a lot better in school. I don't know if it's me, but that's what's happening. Um, my oldest nephew, he's back in school now, so um, he wants to be like his uncle. He wants to go to San Diego State and all that now. So um, it it definitely has influence. On, and as far as my parents go, you know they're really excited that I'm they're proud. You know, my dad, he's like super excited. He's always wanted to go to football games and basketball games. <laughs> You know, but uh, now they have something to talk about with their coworkers and whatnot. Because I'm the only one to go to college, or the first one, I should say, in uh, our major in accounting. It's so much work all the time. And you never seem to get a break. It's very rare that we have a, a, I'm talking more than half a day, if half a day. And that's just the life that we chose. You know, that's just, you know, a semester at a time. Just push through it and work hard and accept that you're going to work hard. That's the other thing, too. Know that. You're going to put in all these hours doing all these different things. It's not just school, but it's also the organizations outside of the school. I mean, outside of a class within the school. And it's just, you just got to push, play through the pain. I guess that's the best way to put it. And know that you're doing it for a reason.